Hey guys, and yes, I'm wearing a lab coat and a glove because for this video, I'll be showing you guys a few experiments because um, a while back I had written a short story and in that story, these experiments were done. So I just wanted to share it, share it with you guys. So let's begin. The first experiment that I'll be doing is the reaction between potassium iodide and lead nitrate. So as you can see here, potassium, iodide, lead nitrate, they're both colorless liquids, but when I mix them, there should be a color change. Okay. Let's go. Yep, that's nice. Okay, so the new substance is that uh, just formed are potassium nitrate and lead iodide. It's a double displacement reaction where basically potassium replaced lead with nit for and took nitrate and lead displaced potassium and took the iodine to become lead iodide. Okay, so for the second experiment, we have some acid base indicators, but uh, for this video, I'll only be using phenaphthalene, which turns pink in basic conditions. And a few bases to note are um, bleach, which is sodium hypochlorite, sodium hydroxide, and baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. And the formulas are right there. Formulae, formulas are right there. Okay. So we have this indicator. First, we'll test it with sodium bicarbonate. Just one drop should do. Yep. Rose pink. That's the color change we wanted. And it should be the same for the bleach and the sodium hydroxide. Yep. It's very pretty. And the uh, sodium hydroxide, as you might see, is a bit darker than the others because it's, well, so it's one of the most commonly used bases in the chemistry lab. Okay, so the third experiment is the oxidation of hydrogen peroxide and potassium permanganate. Um, I didn't write a formula because it's a bit tricky to explain, so I'll just show you the experiment itself. So this purple thing is potassium permanganate, KMnO4, and this is hydrogen peroxide. It's been acidified with um, sulfuric acid. So just watch as I pour it in. See, it disappears. That's very nice. So right now the hydrogen peroxide is being oxidized by the potassium permanganate. Oh, we'll just finish that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the last experiment I haven't tested it in a while, but hopefully it will work. This is what is known as the elephant's toothpaste, where we mix potassium permanganate, it's purple crystals here, with liquid soap and uh, hydrogen peroxide. This is 30% hydrogen peroxide. You probably could get, I don't know, 5% as a supermarket or something, but 30% shouldn't be that easily available. So hopefully this will work. If not, then it's too bad. No. Okay. I guess not. Hmm. I think I did something wrong, but I'll correct that for another time. 
But you can check out the book I mentioned. It should be on Amazon. And if you want, I could just include a Word version in the description below. It, it's free, by the way, so don't worry about paying for it. I'll make a next video. Hopefully, I'll get this to sort this thing out. Anyways, that's it for, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I figured what was wrong. Um, the permanganate and the soap didn't wasn't mixed well, so it's not a complete failure, I guess. But it should have been a lot more rigorous, but. To explain, what's happening now is the hydrogen peroxide, which is H2O2, is being decomposed into water, which is H2O, and oxygen gas. So the oxygen is being given off very rapidly, and there's also a lot of heat coming off it. So it's an exothermic reaction. But it's a lot more cooler if the process was faster, but it's still good to see. This measuring cylinder is very hot by the way. Anyways, thanks. Later.